Okay, this is Paul, Inventor 3. Uh, I'm making a quick video here of uh, resonance, uh, which I'm still kind of learning a little bit myself, too, here. Uh, normally, I, I, I'm still debating on whether or not to even post this video because uh, it's, it's uh, I don't know, it's, well, I'm, I'm, I do, I'm doing experiments all the time, and a lot of times they're failures, and I don't know if a lot of my uh, followers or whatever out there would be interested in uh, seeing videos on all my failures too or not, or if it would just be a waste of time, you know, if everybody, if I just, I don't want to get a thousand comments out there of everybody saying, oh wow, I just watched your 10 minute video and it failed and, you know, you waste uh, 10 minutes of my life. Anyhow, this is uh, something that resonance here. This is just the very first stage of of a much larger project that I'm working on. Uh, so anyhow, okay, uh, right now, uh, what do I got there, like, w just over one kilohertz, as I'm, uh, in the kilohertz range here, just over one kilohertz, okay, uh, this is my cable coming down here, okay, the red one here goes to this green wire, uh, so I got a lot of things going on in this desk here. This green wire goes around. This is a Biffler wound coil. Uh, there's a hundred feet of wire on there. Uh, I forget what this is, like 22 gauge, I think. But I'm just using one coil on here right now. You see it's the red wire and the red wire that I'm using. The black wires on that are hooked up to nothing. Alright, so one end is going to the coil, the other end of the coil comes out, goes to our circuit here, which is uh, one capacitor, uh, which is 52 nanofarads, all in series, okay, this is the, the red one here, one side of my coil going to the, the capacitor here, and the capacitor is going to this small uh, wattage uh, auto bulb, and then in series coming off of there is this white one, and the white one goes around to the other end of the frequency generator. Okay, so it's all in series, the coil going around to the simple circuit. Okay, uh, this black one here is in series here, too. This is a neon bulb, which uh, the other end of this neon bulb I just have uh, going, actually it's hard to see, but it's actually over here. It's just to my bench. It's just grounded. It's just ground. So we just got one leg of the neon bulb up here. Uh, let's see. This neon is uh, oh geez I should have had this ready okay this is the neon here that I'm using right now the specifications on it okay uh, these larger neon here oops like that one. This one uh, did not work. Specifications on that. That one does not work. So you want the first one I showed you, the smaller one, which is what we got here. Okay, now I'm going to show you. Let's see, as I start. Uh, I'm going to bring this up to. What is it, 11 kilohertz? Aha, uh -huh. there's the incandescent. I'm turning it down to a lower frequency. I'm at like 5 kilohertz now. And now I'm going to turn it back up 5, 6, 7. 
it uh, starts getting quite bright. I could uh, probably burn it out. Well, let's turn that back down. Okay, now I want to show you. Uh, I'm going to try to do this here. I'm going to pull out that capacitor and put in a 120 pico farad. We really want, oops, if I could, uh, oh, it's hard to look through the camera and look at my thing here at the same time. Excuse me for one minute while I push this capacitor in the right place here. There we go. Okay, now we got that capacitor in there. And the incandescent bulb went out. Okay, now I already know. Let's see. Uh, I think I gotta go over here. Okay. Whoop, whoop, there it is. There's the light. Let me show you over here. I'm at about. Should be 458. That's where I got the brightest results. If I change the frequency too high or too low, it goes out. So let's get that right around 458 kilohertz. Now we've got that glowing, and our incandescent is not glowing. So we just got voltage. Okay, there's no current. Okay, now, now, okay, now, you know, it also works. Let's see, this uh, capacitor I have in there is 120 picofarads. It also works with 20 picofarad without lighting this bulb also. So you want to be in a picofarad range. Uh, now, what I've got over here is a, a bottle that I cut apart, and there's actually just six windings around under that black tape. Just a regular coil, standard six windings of a coil. And let's see, I got, uh, uh, okay, one end of the coil is this yellow one. Let's get that out here. Let's follow that around. And that goes to one end of diode. You can see which side I have the stripe on. Okay. And the other end of that diode comes around to this capacitor here. Uh, this is a coil, a wire. I don't even need that there. It was just holding my capacitor up otherwise it falls over here but uh yeah the one end the green end the diode goes around that's just a common diode silica i don't even know the number of it something i just had in my drawer it's a very commonly used silicon type diode you should really have a fast acting switching type diode but this works for right now uh yeah i've got a cold <laughs> uh let's see so the other, the end of this diode, the green end, goes to one end of our electric lytic or a capac a polarized capacitor here. And the green is to the positive side here. Okay, and uh, remember we're going uh, from this coil, our yellow one goes to our diode, the green goes to the side of our positive side of our capacitor. The other end of this coil, the white wire here, if we follow that around, now that goes up to the negative side of our capacitor. Whoops, hold on, I dropped one wire here, this black one. Hold on. Okay. Right, the extra two wires on there. Now the black and the red come off of there, and they're just going over here to this uh, 
resistor. Uh, I'm trying to think what the heck. I also have the other two probes you see on here are my voltmeter, uh, this one. Let's turn this on here. Um, um, hold on. Now this one uh, ohms. What do we got? Okay, that's our uh, resistor on there. What is it uh, uh, 100 ohms resistor? Um, okay, now let me switch this over to uh, voltage here. DC voltage. Um, Hold on, there we go. Okay, whoops, our wire fell off our capacitor again. Okay, so right now this is checking voltage. And uh, let me point out that this is a, a square wave, pulsed square wave, DC. Okay, um, now what we're going to do is put this coil over our other coil. Okay, now you see, watch the neon as I do this. Ah, some of my clip came off again over here. Yeah, that's really getting aggravating. Okay. You'll see, as I put this over there, that red neon will disappear. Now watch over here the voltage. I'm transferring the voltage now from one coil to the other one. It's not like inducing a current because we're not working with current. We're transferring the voltage, the energy of the voltage. So here you see I've got a half a volt over here now. Now by perfecting and fine-tuning this capacitance here probably with an air capacitor you could uh, get it finely tuned and you'll get even more voltage over here so that's it uh, so this is uh, I might have more videos on this later yet so that's uh, explaining resonance and how we're transferring some energy here from one coil to the other. Okay, so that's it. Okay, uh, just want to show you one more thing here. Um, oh, just uh, I still got the same exact setup. What a mess here. The only thing I'm changing is this one resistor I had in there. Uh, I put a LED instead. Um, yeah, hold on. Okay, you can see our neon still lit. And our voltage goes up, transferring the energy, and there's our neon. It's all lit up. So the thing is, we're transferring energy from one coil to another, magnetically coupled, uh, with virtually no current. Now your homes have meters on them, regulating and monitoring how much current, or monitoring how much current you use. So basically, hopefully we'll be able to avoid that soon. Uh, one more thing, now, if we go from red, well, the neon goes out right away. What I'm going to do is connect this on the black. Our neon still lights up. That's interesting too, because the other end of our coils, we're going from red to black. So it's like an open circuit, but uh, that's still working and we're still able 
to transfer energy to the other coil even though this is like an open circuit so all right without any more being said till next One more time thing I found interesting is that uh, you could see how this this coil and our diode and capacitor and our LED not connected to the rest of the circuit and uh, here's the voltage and it's just interesting to show that uh, you know our coil is charging the capacitor free energy from air just like my air circuit so just wanted to point that out